There was a colorblind glasses um scam video part two. I wanna do that. That's that sounds fun. Alright, where is it? Exposing the fake science behind the colorblind glasses. We have part one. We have watched it. It is on um it is on the YouTube channel. You can take a look at it. It was very interesting. Oh, it speaks Chinese a little bit. I know how to say hello and how are you, and that's it. And I guess Bing chilling, but this doesn't count. We yanked, so yeah. If you don't, if you're not up to date, I think he probably does catch you up. But it's very interesting. I'm I'm really excited about this one. Previously, in part one of this investigation, we stepped Ew. into the shady world of color corrective glasses Whoa. and exposed Whoa. their underwhelming reality. We discovered that these companies were actively manipulating their review systems to create yep. an illusion of customer satisfaction. And we uncovered a disturbing- <laughs> They had the literal colors written on the fucking thing to fake uh, the ads or the promotions that were being posted online. Stage reaction video yeah, on Encrona's website. Now, in part two, we're delving deeper into the scam, challenging the false marketing and scientific claims head on. So strap in as we peel back the layers of deception to reveal the shocking mm. reality these FDA companies approved. have been hiding. This rabbit hole is far deeper and darker than you can imagine. Monka. When I initially embarked on this project, I thought I'd be making a video about a pair of glasses that could potentially help with my color blindness. They'd either be a game changer or they'd flop. Mm. Simple as that. Never in my wildest dreams was I expecting to stumble across an industry that is riddled with systematic deception and lies. From the rig reviews online to the stage reaction videos, it was clear this industry had a dark underbelly. But how deep did this dirty rabbit hole go? Well, it wasn't until I did a deep dive so on the science behind color blindness and how these glasses supposedly help that I realized just how much of a scam this industry is. Now, quick disclaimer, I've simplified some very complex science to make this as easy to understand as possible. By the way, he got officially tested by a um, doctor, an eye doctor, and they said he was colorblind, so he's not talking out of his ass. And they only said he was colorblind but they didn't specify in what way he was colorblind because the doctors don't care. They just say that you're colorblind. And all these um, glasses that they try to sell are sold in a way to make you feel like you're special almost. I guess like unique in a way. So, I think, when it comes anyway. to perceiving color, the retina in our eyes well, utilize three types of what? cone cells. Each cone detects light at specific wavelengths, which mm -hmm. roughly correlates to the colors blue, I am not color green, blind. and red. When looking at, say, a banana, light enters the eye stimulating banana. each of these cones at different strengths. <laughs> Our brain then Stimulate compares the colors. amount of activation in each cone to determine what color it is we're seeing. Since the banana has strongly activated our red and green cone, but barely any of the blue cone, our brain goes, aha, this must be yellow. Uh, there's different types of color blindness too, so those glasses may not be entirely accurately accurate depending on the buyer. Well, the thing that he argues for is that you cannot restore your color blindness because the cones that do not detect the wavelength in which you perceive a certain color cannot be restored physically, and that's why people argue that this is a scam. Yeah. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're banned here in the Netherlands. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. See you later. Bye-bye. The system for determining color is known as trichromacy. Yeah, they're just okay, gone. So what's going on with my eyes? Well, in my eyes, the green cone isn't functioning correctly. And as mm -hmm. a result, its sensitivity to light has shifted closer to the red cone. Huh. This increased overlap between the red and green cone causes issues because when i look at a banana the ratio of color comparisons is now thrown off balance causing my brain to interpret more of a greenish yellow it also <laughs> means certain oranges and reds can so he has a hard time picking out ripe bananas because they look green to him <laughs> sucks to suck <laughs> look more brown no, this type of color vision deficiency <laughs> is known as deuteronomaly when the defect is in your red no, cone they're not it's harmful. known as they just don't work. anomaly and in your blue cone, tritonomaly. 
These three types of colorblindness yeah, are all known as anomalous mm, trichromacy, or as I like to call it, tier one colorblindness. They sound mm. like Harry Potter spells. Anomalous trichromacy! So how do color corrective glasses attempt to address this issue? Well, I can they only don't. elaborate on Enchromas <laughs> products as the other brands don't offer a detailed scientific explanation. Now, Enchromas glasses work by filtering out the specific wavelengths where the overlapping of cones is most significant, with the mm -hmm. aim of reducing this confusion zone and improving sure. the contrast of certain colors. But this approach is a double-edged sword, because to achieve this, they're literally filtering out certain wavelengths from the spectrum. And as a result, certain colors will look muted when wearing the glasses, as I noticed in my own test. However, yeah. despite these limitations, Enchroma makes outlandish claims like, Enchroma users sees full spectrum of color for the first time. How could anyone see a full spectrum of color when your glasses literally stop certain wavelengths of light from reaching the eye. It makes no uh, sense to me whatsoever. Err. Now, here's where Enchroma's explanation of the science just seemed flat out dodgy. They claim that this process of filtering certain wavelengths somehow forces separation of the overlapping cones, restoring some form of normalcy in the eye. Here's a video of Enchroma's inventor, founder, and chief science officer, Don oh, McPherson, making this absurd claim. What our filter does is it carves out some light between carves those out? overlapped photopigments. What? Where they overlap, pushing them back apart. Now the signals to the two cones are closer to that of a normal visioned person. And when it reaches the brain, it's able to process the information correctly. Uh, but so for example, if you can't see blue, like for me, they would color correct it and I would have a certain color that my skin would look different for a person who would try these glasses like i don't that's not correct like if you go back and look at the test it's not how it works like he actually had an example of how yeah like right here see this bouncing thing that it does and it reflects certain colors yeah sunglasses cure color brightness no no they do not <laughs> Me when I lie. I love lying on the internet. I love it. Now, I'm not a color vision expert, but that seemed like fairy tale science. How can yeah, filtering light passages. fix a genetic yeah, issue with the photoreceptors in my eyes? That just didn't make sense to me. Also, it's worth pointing out that this concept of filtering out wavelengths isn't a novel idea. Hunting glasses also work by- Like, see that? That's what I mean. It's like, it enhances the green, but it makes everything yellow, so... And everything else is muted, like that truck is muted. Uh, yeah, that's that. That's not how it works. See, it's red, but it's like a muted. Full on three vibes. Yeah, exactly. Mexico. <laughs> yeah, it's Breaking Bad. <laughs> everything has like a yellow layer over it. By filtering light to it's boost Mexico, the contrast you know of certain colors, filtered. thereby enhancing a hunter's vision in the wild. And while that boosted contrast might be helpful in certain scenarios, it's by yeah. no means a more accurate depiction <laughs> of reality, is it? So the claim that these glasses help those with anomalous trichromacy see new colors for the first time is felt inaccurate. rather questionable. But get this, anomalous trichromacy is the least severe category of colorblindness. So what are the other two tiers? Well, tier two is known as dichromacy, which is where one of your three cones don't function at all. And again, there are three types depending on which- Yeah, you can't cure that because they, you literally can't see. As in like, you don't have a functioning receptor. You cannot perceive the color. It's gone. Like it's, it's, it's like, it's shut off. It's like, a, it's like a cable that's broken and you can't repair it because you don't have the cable that fits back in there. Yeah, it just, your brain doesn't know those colors. It's not like you can magically, like, fucking do that. You'd have to have surgery to augment your eyes. They'd have to, like, replace the cone. And I don't know how that works in the scientific perspective. Like, I don't know how that works. Isn't working. Now, as you can imagine, a with an entire that can do cone that. essentially missing, tier two is drastically more severe Skin than tier one. Eyes. So how could light filtering glasses <laughs> help with tier two? Well, Chat, honestly, it seems practically impossible because the entire point of these glasses was to address the excessive overlap between two cones. Sure. But with one cone now out of the equation, this concept no longer makes sense, right? They're only aesthetic. And then there's tier three. Yeah, I think it's too advanced because the um the eyes are too like you, you like the cones like they 
I don't think I've ever read in my life. Like I've I've went to university and I study this a little bit, not to this extent, like as a doctor, but it's not physically possible to take someone else's fucking eyeball cones and shove them into your eyeball. It just that's just doesn't that's not a feasible like idea. It's a good idea, but it's not possible. Which is known not as yet. monochromacy yeah. or achromatopsia. That's where two or all three you can't of the just cones aren't cones. functioning at all. Those who suffer from monochromacy see the world in black and white. And again. I can't see how blocking certain wavelengths is going to bring back the functionality of cones that simply don't, don't work. exist. So as you can see, there are many types of color blindness and the severity baka. between each tier is significant. This all begs the question, what types of color vision deficiency do these companies claim their glasses help with? Well, Enchroma claims their glasses only help with two types, Dutans and Protans in tier one. However, this information okay. is buried in their website and their marketing would have you believe otherwise. For example, if we revisit the video in Chroma launch of Valspar, pay attention to how they describe colorblindness. You don't see the world the same way. Commonly, red and green don't look different, but look the same. Now, if you're struggling to differentiate red and green traffic lights, it's likely you're grappling with the tier two red-green colorblindness, something in Chroma openly acknowledges their glasses can't rectify. But the that's so, that's so fucking deceiving. Hi, Snake. Yeah, that is so deceiving. Because tier one, you can distinguish colors, but they aren't the accurate like uh, hue or whatever. Like he described, like a banana would be slightly green. That is that is deceptive marketing right there. I love that. Love it. Inconsistencies don't stop there. In the same video, one of the colorblind individuals describes his condition. Listen closely to what he says. It's not that I can't name them. There's there's nothing there. That's gray and that's gray and that's gray. Wh Wait, that's a fucking paid actor. Yeah, snake oil marketing. Yeah, like it'll cure your fucking cough, but it actually won't do anything because it's snake oil. This man just described sounds a whole lot like tier three monochromacy. Then when he puts on the glasses. Oh my God. Is that God. what you guys see every day? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> Pog chat, Pog. Yo guys, buy my, um. Buy my piss fox blanket and pillow and you will never have to piss again. Yeah. <laughs> it will solve all your kidney stone problems forever. You will never have to pee again. It works. Trust me. Hi, Nix. What's up? Hello. I will take five. Where's my credit card? It pisses for me. Yeah, it pisses on your clothes for you. So alongside the other dubious Jeez. claims, Enchroma is insinuating their glasses can help people with monochromatic wow, vision bloggers, wow. see color. Unfortunately, this deceptive narrative isn't an isolated incident. It's a reoccurring theme. From the black and white thumbnails on Enchroma's YouTube channel oh to the God. educational content on their website, Enchroma consistently generalizes color blindness yeah, like this is not accurate. That's not how people with the f tier one see things. They would see all the colors, but they wouldn't be the accurate ones. They're a slightly different hue. That's just so fucking, I don't know, stinky. Towards the more severe stinky types. marketing. And the other brands are arguably even worse. Pilestone openly claims their glasses work for both tier one and tier two color blindness, what? while providing absolutely zero explanation as to how their glasses achieve this. And they too boldly insinuate that their glasses help with monochromatic vision what? in their advertising what? material, they which they promptly removed after learning of my investigation. Funny that. Then there's Carelust, aka oh, the this Terminator so glasses, bad. who shamelessly boast that their glasses help every single type of colorblindness, including complete colorblindness. Oh my god! Imagine how many people they actually scam. Imagine you have this disease and you don't know how your disease works, and you buy this shit. These these glasses are like hundreds of dollars, aren't they? Monochromatism. They're expensive. At this point in my investigation, I was very confident that these companies were lying about their products and misleading consumers. Sure. But surely someone out there, smarter than I am, has taken a closer look at the science behind this technology. So I scoured the internet for any science-backed evidence that either supports or disproves this technology. I found little evidence of any clinical studies for Pilestone or Carelust. <laughs> Chroma, on the other hand, 
boasted that a study on their website by the University of Incarnate Word. Groundbreaking research reveals the power of Enchroma's technology. They claim mm. the study found that their glasses, <laughs> one, stimulates the uh stimulates the brain's color vision center what the fuck do you mean man dude you know it's bad when a fucking vtuber knows how eye eyeballs and fucking eye vision works better than a fucking stupid ass it's a paid study they paid money reveal three to five times improvement after six months what the fuck do you mean Res Slow, immediate, and long-lasting. How do you improve something that doesn't? It's literally. It's like if you broke a bone and then the bone flew out of your body and then got lost in the fucking dirt somewhere. And then someone said, yeah, we can bring back that bone without actually putting it back in your body. Yeah, like how do you improve something that doesn't exist? Like, you took a chunk of bone out of your fucking leg and... And then you're trying to replace the fucking bone without actually putting a bone in there? Like, what? Yeah, long-lasting Brain's improvement. Color Vision Center. Two, shows an immediate and long-lasting improvement. And three, yes. reveals a three to five X improvement after six months. I won't lie, it sounded promising and started second-guessing myself. So I clicked the link only to find out that the study was paywalled and I'd have to cop up 40 US dollars to reveal the full paper. But you can't put a price on the truth, so I paid the $40 only Best. to have half a page of additional information revealed. Ouch. Turns out this wasn't a full length study at all, but- Oh my god. Oh my god, they scammed him out of $40. <laughs> Someone's gonna watch this guy's back. I feel like he's gonna get in trouble. He's gonna get in trouble. They're gonna, he's gonna reveal their scam. They're gonna try and sue Rather, him. a brief communication. That's important because brief communications often aren't peer reviewed. Anyways, in this $40 half a page of information, it showed that Enchroma had donated the 16 pairs of glasses used in the experiment. Yet okay. only 13 volunteers participated in the study. Sorry, brief communication. The worst part, the claim of a three to five X this improvement that Enchroma referenced wasn't a finding from the paper at all. No, instead, it was derived from a random unspecified test conducted on one of the participants six months later. Yet a fucking one guy. They, they literally got one guy. Yo, bye, War Master. Yeah, not peer reviewed either. That is so fucking sad. They got one guy by one fucking old man Kroger in the study. presents it in a way that suggests it were a solid conclusion from the study and has <laughs> plastered the claim all over their website. By the way. Yikes. Now, given the lack of in-depth information in this paper, I decided to reach out to key author, Professor Jeffrey Rabin, and the University of Incarnate Word and they for told clarification him, Fuck off. of some of my concerns. But, but despite multiple attempts, I received no reply. Oh, then, crazy. not long later, something strange happened. The paywall was removed from the brief communication, making it free to the public. Was I just scammed by the science community? Now <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man! I told you he's their scammer! Maybe this was entirely coincidental, Negative but the $40. timing felt incredibly suspicious. Undeterred, I continued my quest for an independent study, one that could hopefully offer a more detailed scientific perspective to the benefits of these glasses. Thankfully, I discovered an actual full-length scientific paper through Enchroma's okay. website. Enchroma claims that the study, which was conducted by the University of California Davis, uncovered some surprising results. The participants' ability to identify an experienced color in all its hues was demonstrated when they were not wearing Enchroma glasses. What? 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 It... That's a bold let claim. It, wait, let him cook. Right. Let him cook. So as I'm scrolling through this behemoth, I was met with a barrage of complex graphs and okay. esoteric algebraic formulas. I started salivating like, yes, finally a proper study that I can sink my teeth into. But as I start reading, several red flags started popping up. Once again, a very small sample size with only eight colorblind volunteers participating. And surprise, surprise, once again, the glasses were donated by Enchroma. I'm telling you, they got paid. They got paid under the table. I fucking hate this earth! Get me out, man! Ah! 
This is becoming a reoccurring theme. The worst part though, it turns out that one of the key authors of this paper, Kenneth Knobloch, is a shareholder in Enchroma. <laughs> yeah. I hate everything. I hate everything, man. What the fuck do you mean? Oh my god! I can't be real name. It is, it's a real German name, but I'm- What? He- He's part- He's part of the study, but he wasn't a fucking stock investor? Hey guys, Alana's pillow is wonderful and amazing. I only have $80 in, uh, in, uh, Alana shares for this pillow, but trust me, this pillow is absolutely for real, for real. No cap. A key author of the so scientific sad. study is a shareholder in Enchroma. Holy conflict of interest! Now, after a bit of digging <laughs> around, I found a video on YouTube where Kenneth Knobloch is giving a talk about the findings from okay. the study. And during his presentation, he mentioned that the subjects who were in Chroma glasses made positive spontaneous comments. Yet I couldn't locate these comments anywhere in this paper. Turns out they were buried away in a supplemental information document. And inside this document, I found other spontaneous comments, such as not wearing the glasses because I didn't notice any change. And another one read, I have heard of these glasses and I think it is- <laughs> Wait, they had that in the study and they didn't include it. Oh my God. There's selective, conflict of interest, selective, and then it's buried information. How dare you call yourself a scientist? A researcher at that. A scam. Now, why didn't Mr. Shareholder oh mention those comments in the story? Of course he did, So, it who the bad. hell is Kenneth Knobloch? And what is his involvement with Enchroma? And why is his last name the German word for garlic? This Why was not, no man? laughing matter. At the very Knobloch. least, Mr. Garlic was an investor in Enchroma, <laughs> and that's terrible enough. But if it turns out he was in any way directly involved with the company, that's even worse. So I scoured Enchroma's website looking for any mention of a Kenneth Knobloch, but found nothing. Not even a whiff of garlic. And after hours of extensive <laughs> research, I hit a dead Mr. end. Garlic. I found no connection between Kenneth Knobloch and Enchroma. But as luck would have it, and by pure accident, I stumbled across an unlisted video from Enchroma's YouTube channel. Oh, and guess shit. whose name crops up. In the video, Enchroma's founder, Don McPherson, reflects on the skepticism they encountered from the scientific community when starting their business. However, they finally met one particular scientist who offered them a beacon of optimism. I had some people that were pretty negative initially. And well, no shit, they're negative. They're you're going against science, the foundations of science. I mean, I, I understand you can have skepticism and like have room for error, but like, holy shit. The vision science community that just clearly were saying it can't be done. And then I met this guy who's in France. His name is Ken Nablock. I described it to him and he said, <laughs> Nablock. Oh, so you want to adjust the quantal catch of the photo pigments to reestablish some normalcy to the chromatic channels and i said brother you cannot do that you'd have to literally be tricking your brain the other way that i can foresee this happening in the future is you have to literally rewire your brain to perceive colors and hues in like a, like formatting two different channels for the same cone or some shit and that's fucking insane man that's like some science fiction bullshit you can't do that yes he said yeah, yeah sci-fi mumbo jumbo it yeah, sounds like realistic. dr knobloch may have worked for enchroma as a consultant i mean companies don't just hand yeah, out shares for a few words shit. of encouragement right and whether my Not speculations were glasses. right or wrong ethically speaking how could anyone take such a paper seriously when a key author has a vested interest in the outcome of the experiment. Just speculating here, but these studies were starting to feel a lot more like orchestrated PR stunts yep, than actual science. But this was a Just rabbit like hole I'd have to explore later. First, were there any studies out there without a clear conflict of interest? Turns out, there is. Mm -hmm. I found a study conducted by the University of Granada in Spain. There were no okay. conflicts of interest, the glasses weren't donated by Enchroma, and they utilized a far more robust sample size of four- What? They actually had no conflict of interest? 
based Spain. What do we got? Is this real? Is it gonna be real chat? 48 volunteers. And when I reached out to discuss their findings, co-author Professor Eva Valero responded immediately. Ooh. So in your paper, you tested the effectiveness of Enchroma's glasses. Mm -hmm. What was the conclusion of your study? And we concluded that uh, neither the discrimination, nor the recognition, nor the sorting ability using other tests uh, was uh, enhanced. So what we concluded I think rightly in our study is that the glasses do not compensate the oh, it's so crazy. It's almost so like it's how exactly do big. these glasses work? The, the idea is that so, so subtract some information and by doing that create more contrast between pairs of colors. Okay, so it can enhance particular pairs at the cost of decreasing the contrast in other Yeah, yeah, it's exactly like he explained at the start. It it has a downside to it. Yeah, glorified sunglasses, exactly. And it's crazy, they didn't get paid off. And now they're like, oh no, this isn't real. Oh, it hurts my eyes, they yeah. They will not increase the number of colors that you can see in a scene. And mostly they play with brightness, contrast. To sum up, none of so these glasses are in any way showing a real version blanks. of the color. They're simply changing the color contrasts, essentially. No. Exactly. Now, this raises an important point, because many people get tricked by the fact that some of these glasses can help you pass or improve on an Ishihara colorblindness test. For sure. example, without the glasses, I cannot see the number seven on this plate, but with the glasses, I can. Now, yeah. that's not because my colorblindness is cured. Because the contrast went up. Yeah, so, oh my god. It's, or, it's... or because I'm finally seeing new color, it's the glasses are simply making the green seven darker compared to the red. So instead of relying on hue to differentiate between two colors, I can now use the contrast or difference in brightness to distinguish yep. between the two colors. You're literally just cheating the test. This is something that has misled many into believing these glasses are more effective than they truly are. And you don't need a pair of $300 glasses to do this. This here is a 20 cent piece of magenta tinted cellophane that I picked up from a local arts wow. and crafts store. Same effect, much cheaper. So, wow. is it correct that for those who suffer color vision deficiency, cents? it is scientifically Damn. impossible to filter Jeez. light waves in a way that could help them? Yo, that shit fixes your color blindness, by the way. It's only 20 cents. See color for the first time. Yes, it is impossible because uh, the filters are just subtracting information as we have seen. They, they will exist. not modify anything or change anything in the retina of the subject. So, what is happening is that he is just noticing the color shift that the filters introduce and he's seeing the same object with a different color and mm -hmm. this might seem new to him and maybe he or she likes it very much because he likes or she likes the appearance of the object, the new appearance but he is not that seeing gives me a headache, he's seeing the same object with a different color that he <laughs> has seen before in other objects the professor's explanation perfectly captures the essence of these glasses. The scam is not that these glasses do nothing, it's that they don't work as advertised. The discrepancy between the functional value of these glasses versus the promised benefit is significant. Yes. I have worn sunglasses on a really hot and sunny day, and after you wear them after a while and then you take them off, your eyes kind of like have to adjust to the, to the contrast. That's literally the same thing that's happening to these. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you take them off and you're like, oh, oh God, oh, everything's kind of a little bit brighter than before. Same with ski goggles. Yeah, because they reduce. Um, yeah, you're flashback yourself. Yeah, exactly. It's so like, it's so disingenuous. I'm sure it helps. If you're trying to pass like tests and stuff to recognize colors like in this test, but it doesn't actually work. Some people with a color vision deficiency may find that these glasses help them distinguish certain colors better. However, mm -hmm. you have to remember that comes at the cost of other colors. And just because some people find utility in these glasses doesn't mean it's not a scam. Imagine buying a sunscreen only to find out that what you bought is a it's moisturizer. A You'd be pissed, right? The product might not be completely useless, but you bought it on the premise that it would protect your skin from the sun. 
I consider that a scam. I don't care if you have a 60 day return policy or a disclaimer hidden away on your website. You cannot and should not mislead people with the disability. FDA now, if you're colorblind and you're curious as to what effect these glasses <laughs> offer, those with normal color vision can also experience the effects of these glasses. And Chroma even goes so far as to claim their glasses boost color perception for those with normal vision. So in your test with 48 volunteers, did any of them when trying on the glasses for the first time have an immediate emotional reaction? None of them. No. Oh, the majority, oh, wow. the, the guys and the majority were a little bit disappointed on the effect. <laughs> so it was not life changing at all for any of them. They didn't. The claims that they do. They are not only not accurate, uh, they are directly misleading. In general, I think in the scientific community, the idea that is accepted is that the filters cannot turn the. It's such great marketing, too, man. The Logan Paul thing? I think Logan Paul did this same thing too, where he faked having color blindness and then like put on the glasses. I'm sure that was a big boost in sales. People are stupid. They buy into that. Any color blindness condition into normal. This is very clear for, for scientists nowadays. So I would like this to be very clear for society. <laughs> now, as Professor Valero just highlighted, her and her team are not the only researchers who have concluded that these glasses don't perform as advertised. Dr. Emily Patterson, along with a team of researchers, have also published a paper that calls into question the efficacy of these glasses. Intrigued, I reached out to Dr. Patterson and we discussed the validity of several marketing claims. Can these color vision aids uh, help you see new colors for the first time? No. Our patent and colorblind glasses are guaranteed to help you see color and thousands of hues for the first time. I guarantee you, you, I could get some sunglasses and then claim that you can see anime girls with it instead of instead of real women when you go outside and I could probably sell it to some dorks. I bet you a hundred bucks I could. Seeing anime girls instead of real women? I could do it, man. I could really pitch it up. Where? Give me. <laughs> Take my money. If you believe, it'll happen. And if it doesn't happen, you got to try a little harder. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? If you don't, if it doesn't work the first time, then, you know, something's wrong with you. No. <laughs> False. Um, you're Get certainly rich, not quick skin, do it. Yeah, shit. A lot of patented the glasses. Do Chroma's glasses help your brain see color? Is that true or false? No. Um, somebody who has color blindness, as we'll call it, is capable of seeing all the colors. It's just the photoreceptors. You know, if, you, if you don't have the detector there, you're not going to be brain, able to distinguish. Yeah colors within a certain part of that visible spectrum. So your brain is, comp is capable of seeing color. The glasses don't help your brain. Now, remember in Chroma's scientific explanation as to how their glasses work? Specifically, the claim that they push the sensitivity of the cones back apart, closer to that of a normal vision person. Bro, well, I ran so that claim stupid. by Dr. Patterson. No, it, it, can't, it can't shift the sensitivity of the cones. Okay. It can cut out. I will hire a bunch of uh, men between the ages of 18 to 35, give them the glasses for free, and, it, and then I will pay them like a hundred bucks each to say they see anime girls. How does that sound, chat? I, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I can see them. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I'm in. Call me when. Yeah, let me invest. Yeah, you'll be a conflict of interest. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my god, man. Holy shit. Sign me up. That's all. There you have it. Chroma isn't just stretching the truth as to how their glasses work, they're inventing their own science, which is most astonishing. Yeah, you get $100. Concerning. Do you think the way these companies are advertising their glasses is ethical? No, uh, because I think it is sending the wrong message. Uh, I think it's misleading, especially the emotional videos. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the ones where they're crying videos, shit. Have people who are crying. Hello, Dwayne. Families and children and 
saying that saying that show me the video again with the kid pointing at the balloons and there's like writing of the actual colors on the balloons i want to see that again that was so the funny time and things like this they are posing it as you know you're gonna see new colors we're opening you up to a world that you've never experienced before no, wow, I think that just the, wow. I see colors. Wow. Emotional need to to see what other people are seeing. Now, just as I thought <laughs> the scam couldn't get any juicier, <laughs> I spoke <laughs> with one last color vision scientist, Dr. Kenneth Knobloch. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Knobloch! After emailing Mr. Dr. Garlic! Knobloch with some questions about his role in Chroma, he got back to me and was surprisingly open with his answers. In his email, he admitted he was indeed a consultant for Enchroma during its early stages. This led to him being the offered shares in the company <laughs> at a bargain price. He also stated that he himself is Hair colorblind garlic. and doesn't agree with the way Enchroma advertises their glasses. Oh. Interesting. So I asked Dr. Knobloch mm, if he'd sus. agree to doing an interview with me, and to my surprise, he said yes. <gasps> First order of business was to find out if Dr. Knobloch agreed with how Enchroma characterized the findings from his study. Now, something that surprised me is how Enchroma characterized the findings from your study on their website. Enchroma claims that your study, and I quote, uncovered some surprising results. The participant's ability to identify and experience color in all its hues was demonstrated when they were not wearing Enchroma glasses. Is that an accurate What's characterization of your findings? <laughs> no, we never said anything like that. Um, oh, okay. So with what yeah, Enchroma just did, they, they, they have mischaracterized your, your the findings from your study. Well, I haven't, I haven't seen exactly what they said, but that- I just read it to you. This is a direct quote that your your study uncovered some surprising results. The participant's ability to identify and look experience at him color over. in all its like, hues was demonstrated when they were not yeah. wearing Enchroma well, glasses. I, 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 would, I, would, I would never say that myself. Well, I, yeah, I think they're, 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 their marketing people may have gotten a little bit <laughs> Overboard? Head of, head, of the, head, of the, head of the game. There you have it. Straight from the horse's mouth. And oh my god. No way. He's either backpedaling or he's throwing them under the bus. I can't tell. Chroma has misled consumers by mischaracterizing the findings of the away. scientific well, I think study. Probably now, a little bit of both, I'm not man. a lawyer, but I suspect that's entering the realms of fraud. I mean, yep. That's pretty un. You have, you have to admit it's pretty unethical to take someone's scientific study and then mischaracterize it to sell your glasses. You know, right. were, were you aware that were you aware that they were mischaracterizing your findings in this way? And on that day, during that interview, this guy opened up his portfolio and sold all his stocks in the fucking in Chroma sunglasses right there. Okay. Well, He's like, I'm one, not no, I'm not following this shit. The, the, their marketing. I mean, at one point or another, I, I have. He's made a little bit nervous. I, I don't blame him. It's okay. Things, which, as far as I can see, they haven't followed. When I've seen things, you know, at one point when I was more active in this. Yo, what's up, Daisuke? And um, I How's it try going? to make my opinions clear. Yikes. So let me get this straight. Ken, a color vision yeah, scientist, complained to Enchroma about their advertising tried steering them towards a more honest approach, but this advice ultimately got disregarded. If true, that's not a good look for Enchroma. Our painted colorblind glasses are guaranteed to help you see color and thousands of hues for the first time. Uh... True or false? Well, I think any kind of, thing, any kind of statement like that has to be qualified. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm, I'm not oh a big God. fan of. I take all advertising with a grain of salt, so I take that with a large grain of salt. So you're not <laughs> willing to say that it's wrong, but you're not willing to say that it's right. Well, I'd say it's never been um, tested, but it sounds it sounds a little it sounds a little strong. It sounds a little strong, Chet. Yeah, he's like, I am wiping my hands clean of this shit. I am not dealing with it. He's not outraged saying no, but he's not saying it sounds yes. Sounds a little strong. Okay. I don't yeah. know if there's any evidence to back that up. There isn't. I'll be honest, I developed a certain respect for Ken because of his candor with me. Despite his connections to Enchroma, he largely sided with scientific accuracy instead okay. of justifying Enchroma's marketing. All I right. have to respect that. However, sure. in my opinion, his bias towards Enchroma was unmistakably evident. Now, you've given several talks about your study. In one of the talks, you mentioned positive spontaneous comments by the observers, but you left out negative comments. For example, I've heard of these glasses and I think it is a scam. Another observer says, not wearing these glasses because I didn't notice Based. any change. 
Based. Why did you leave those comments out? You have to admit, <laughs> knowing your affiliation, that comes across. <laughs> I mean, Be because he was meant to present it in a certain light, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Maybe he wanted it to be presented in a little bit of a you know specific way, indirectly. First of all, some of those negative comments were from people who were wearing a uh, placebo placebo. Uh, no, those were, those were those no th those th both those negative comments there. Those were oh from my god. people with CBD. Right, oh right. my well, we, god! We, we, oh my god! He got he just got fat checked. He got fat checked. We, we published all of them. I mean, there's not room to publish all of them in the main article. That's why we have supplementary. The supplementary is available. Uh, it's not hidden. Busted. I mean, I, I think it's good that you include them, but uh, you know, two of them were negative, and then when you sort of discussed your findings, only the positive one was highlighted. Was that your bias coming through? Um, <laughs> well, as I say, in, in, in the format of the journal, you're limited to what you can include. So, so. Oh my like, this, No, I'm talking about during your talk. So this is a uh, during oh, a talk. He's so sneaky. He's a sneaky little man. And well, then, uh, yeah. He's um, just a little sneaky. Well, I like it. I like the sneakiness. He reminds I, I me of uh, Fox. I, He's I, real I, sneaky. I, 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 I um. You know, yeah, it was a year ago. I don't remember, but um, it was a year ago. I don't anyway, remember. Jeez. I, I, you know, it would have been it would be good to make a disclaimer that not everybody responds this way. Now, later <laughs> in our discussions, I ask him how he came to be a consultant Jesus. for Enchroma and how he met Don McPherson, the founder. Oh, and as he was giving geez. his answer, he I unintentionally forgot, revealed guys, another potential conflict of I interest. I forgot I pissed in your bed actually, last he night. And Sorry. Jack Warner, actually, Jack, you know, Jack's in California, and Chroma's in Berkeley. As soon as he mentioned the name Jack Werner, I knew exactly who he was talking about. Jack, or John Werner, was a professor at the University of California, Davis. And like Ken, he too was an author of the same study. Oh, long-term colleague with Jack Werner, we, we, we've worked together, for, we've known each other since they we were graduate together. students. Don, were, he and Don were, he was consulting with Don. He um, invited, they invited me to join in the discussions back then. Ah, okay. So, so did Jack Verner also work as a consultant for Enchroma? Yeah, at one point. Yeah, yeah, at one point. I mean, we, 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 we had discussions. Holy sh**. If Ken's telling the truth, and I see no reason why he'd lie, that means two authors from this paper had a clear wait, wait, conflict. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, like when he starts going. Yeah, yeah. Wee wee wee! He's turning into a fucking Frenchman. Of interest within Chroma, and let's not forget the paper only disclosed Excuse Ken's shareholding yes. and made no mention of his consultancy role, let alone this alleged affiliation yeah, he with doesn't Professor want to admit Werner. It. Hilariously, the paper confidently states the authors declare no competing interests. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, after contacting Professor Werner for comment, he stated that he has no personal or professional conflict of interest with Enchroma, while ignoring my specific questions. And when I asked if he would refute the claims made by his colleague, Ken, I never heard back from him. <laughs> Dude, if that's not incriminating! That. And again, Holy I see no shit. reason why Ken would have lied about this. He had nothing bad to say about liar, his longtime liar, colleague, on Professor Werner. The most concerning part about all of this is that Enchroma had leveraged the study to bolster trust in consumers, even having the audacity to claim that the study was independent. So it's really good for us as a company, it's good for the end user to realize that there's now independent scientific voices. Some of the best people in the field have come out and done very, very Bro, the two studies that were done, or was it one study and then they were did it together, whichever. One study was done sponsored, well not sponsored, but they gave them an, an, an chroma glasses and then the other one was done in Spain and they had absolutely no effect on their fucking colorblindness at all. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't detailed buy it. Studies to show yeah, that very detailed. My ass, device. by the way. By independent scientific voices, are you referring Eight to the guy that has shares in your company, studies. Don? Just curious. It couldn't be more black and white. After thoroughly examining the science, blink, blink. it was clear these glasses don't work as advertised for any type of colorblindness. Crazy. And the science has been twisted to serve a dishonest narrative. But this distortion of science isn't the sole reason behind the widespread success of these glasses. <laughs> There's another pivotal player in this drama that has significantly contributed in perpetuating this scam.
enter the mainstream media, the one source we can rely on for accurate, unbiased information. <laughs> Right. It is the amazing technology that is allowing the colorblind to see oh what they've God. never been able to see before. So a magical moment for a local woman media. lighting up social media with smiles. Don McPherson says he's developed a pair of sunglasses that can help colorblind people see normal. Chat, oh my Dream god, the chat, oh my god, oh my god, chat, the chat, the look, oh my god, I can't, oh, I can see the colors, oh my god, oh shit, you're guy go, I can't see colors, oh my god, oh my god, oh shit, I can see, oh crap, I can't see color again, <laughs> Is it is that like am I selling the product yet? The one source we can rely on for accurate, unbiased information, right? It is the amazing technology oh, that is allowing the colorblind back to see what they've never been able to see before. A magical moment for a local woman lighting up social media with smiles. Don McPherson right now. says he's developed a pair of sunglasses that can help My colorblind sunglasses. people see normally. Yeah, nah. You think, given all the resources at their disposal, at least one journalist Media would have taken a closer look never. at this technology? But no, they too couldn't help themselves I and jumped on the viral you, bandwagon, pushing one uninformed news never story after another, further fueling this wow, poop soup of a scam and never once questioning the science. In fact, the media have arguably been worse than the likes of Logan Paul. Allow me to share with you a prime example. Remember the Kalos glasses that gave me the mm -hmm. Terminator vision? Well, what yeah. I didn't tell you was that I discovered these glasses from a WNEP 16 news story. In the segment, John Hickey, a meteorologist from the channel, tries on the Kalos glasses for the first time under the guidance of a professional eye clinic. Now John puts on the Kalos colorblind glasses and gives it another try. This and then this is 74. Yeah. How about this one? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. This is insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. He can read the fucking... He... I gotta suck when so irritated. He can read it because the contrast is up, of course. Of course he can read it. He can't see the colors. He can just tell them apart now. I've, I've, never, cry I've never been able to do this in my entire life. Because you... D I can see color. No, you can't! You're he probably doesn't understand. No, he does. He's just stupid. Are you okay? It's so green. It's so green. I've never seen the color. Bro, he doesn't see. I hate this fucking shit so much. I hate it. I hate how stupid people are. I hate it. That's right, uh. ladies and gentlemen. This doofus put on the Terminator glasses, saw this then cried like a baby on television. You, if you see this, let me go back. I've never seen the color. This, this, this is like, he could be able to pick out like the contrasting in the numbers. You can't see the color green. It's impossible. Then cried like a baby on television. Now, if these idiots actually uh, did their job, you know, journalism, and did even an ounce of research, they would have realized that the company they've promoted is literally a complete scam. scam. I noticed red flags He's the moment I visited yeah, Kellogg's website. That. Spelling and grammatical <laughs> errors, green. absurd no, claims about the product liar. with zero explanation liar. as to how the product works, fake reviews, some of which had literally been copied from other websites. Nice. A quick reverse image search of the glasses revealed that the product isn't manufactured by Kellogg's at all. No, the product is actually a pair of $4 glasses from China, which Kellos are reselling for a very generous 90 US dollars. Wow. Hilariously, Kellos claimed wow, these $4 Chandler. spectacles wow. are painted in technology wow. and FDA approved. However, a quick email to the Federal Drug Administration confirmed that these glasses are not FDA I think you can get sued for that. I think you can get sued if you claim something is FDA approved and then you say it's not if and then you email the FDA. Yeah, it's a federal crime. You literally cannot do that. It's a fucking government entity. It's like saying, I don't know. Nah, I can't think of a good example, but yeah, it, 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 it it's so insane. FDA man. approved because one, the product category yeah, typically fraud. doesn't even require FDA approval. And two, even if it did, Kelos would need to be a registered medical device manufacturer in the USA. And it's not a medical device because it doesn't fucking do anything! Which they most certainly are not. 
The claim that these glasses are FDA approved is 100% fraudulent. Not to mention, Keolos Limited is registered under a phony address in London with a phone number that doesn't work. Oh a check of the business registration revealed that Keolos is run by a Mr. Muhammad Al Omri, who's the CEO and sole employee of the so called the company. Only one? The website is nothing more than a textbook dropshipping scam. What's truly baffling is that this took me less than an hour's worth of research to find all of this out. I mean, if these so called journalists at WNEP <laughs> had dedicated. <laughs> Even a minute of consumer level Employee research, of like, I don't know, googling Keolos reviews, they would have found a multitude of warnings from the likes of Reddit and Trustpilot, where consumers have been warning oh the community God. about this terrible product, and the fact I that Mr. Alumri so doesn't fulfill his return policy, I wonder how much money they made. to ignore his victims' emails. The most ironic part about this WNEP news segment is that it's titled, Does It, Does really, it really Work? work? Yeah, Great job, works. WNEP. Outstanding journalism. Not only did you fail to answer your own question, you just gave Mr. Al Amri a free advertising slot to promote his scam, which he promptly featured on his website. God. Guys, it's just that easy, man. It's just so easy to scam people out of money. RuneScape scams have got nothing on this. Like, trust trading, you know, double or nothing, I'll double your money. It's so easy. It's just so easy. Undoubtedly giving victims a false sense of security in this scam. Now, I wish I could say the stupidity ended here, mm -mm 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 -mm. but these clowns couldn't get enough and decided to make a part two of this abysmal content. And unfortunately, it gets worse. In the second oh. episode, meteorologist John Hickey realizes that the glasses aren't that great after all. Oh no. Oh, it turns yeah. out you can't see green traffic lights while it wearing is. the glasses. Massive John piece. says the colorblind test he took with the book didn't prepare him <laughs> for what he was about to see next. Like I couldn't see the green light at all. Then why did you fucking say that you saw the color green? This guy's insane. Actually insane. Also, thank you, Dad. Just thank you, thank you for the four months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Show full childhood? No. How about no? No, I will not. Also, fuck you. On a traffic signal. Well, no shit, John. Everything's <laughs> red. But here's where things no get fucking comical. The medical expert they had on the show, Dr. Michael Bolin from North East Show Nine's full color? Park okay. Summit, claims that I the issue that. is not with the $4 glasses, but rather with John's brain. Well, he's not entirely wrong. Listen to this interaction. Guys, you're just too stupid to see the anime girls. Your brain is not configured correctly. Does use my glasses that I will sell to you to. Oh my God. I could actually sell, I could do it. Chat, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna sell uh, anime girl glasses on Patreon and then, um, if you can't see the anime girls in your room, then uh, it means your brain is not wired correctly and you're too stupid to see them. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's gonna that's gonna work out. I see them. No, 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 you need the glasses first. You can't just see them already. I'll take your entire stock. Yes, please. Yes, shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh and then I need um all of you guys in chat right now to send me videos of you crying when you fucking put the glasses on. That would be really nice. Also, I'm not- I, I will sponsor you, but don't tell anybody. I will give you like a hundred bucks to make a video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really easy money right here. I can't believe this is fucking real. And after John complains, he couldn't see green traffic lights. Dr. Michael Bolin says, Hello, when Ether, what's up? People see real colors outside for the first time. Oh my god! It can cause the brain to be confused. So is he actually confused. seeing the right colors then with those glasses no. on? But he just isn't aware of it? Or is it the fact that he's not seeing the colors right? He's seeing a truer version of the color. It's just not what he's used to and what his brain has memorized as being that color. What? Yeah. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a trained medical professional validating the absurd claim that these $4 truer glasses from version. China are helping John see a truer version of colors.
It blows my mind that a doctor who clearly knows nothing about this product goes on television and confidently proclaims the effects of these glasses, completely a doctor, oblivious by the way. to the fact that what he's just endorsed a medical is professional. literally a scam. A medical professional. How's Dr. Bolland Rock? Well, he said that these glasses, uh, I mean, without having even he's looked sweating. into what they are, yeah, he's sweating because he's wrong. He said that yes, these glasses are providing him a truer version of color. Why would you say that about a product you know nothing hey, about? Hi, this is Dr. This is Dr. Bolland. Hi, Dr. Bolland. Hey, I didn't talk about glasses at all. I don't know where you got this information from. I think you have the wrong guy, so. Uh, Dr. Michael Bolland, I mean, you, you can publish whatever you want, but I, I didn't say anything about glasses. But you, <sighs> I just want to make a cabin in the woods and just stream somehow through like through the woods and just have groceries like airdrop to my house so I can never have human contact ever again. This just reminds me of how much I hate like misinformation and then gaslighting and then I am hitting my head with a fucking with my own hand because I hate this so much. <laughs> yeah, scream into the forest for six hours. Yes, that'll be nice. So. I, I I mean I saw I saw I saw the I saw the news segment. Feel free to publish whatever you want. Do do you want me to do you want me to quote you? I mean like. Just wow. <laughs> Zero wow. accountability. Wow. The wow. That is insane. Now, don't get me wrong, Dr. Bolin. I'm sure it's nice that you got some free press out of this, <laughs> but perhaps a little That's due this. diligence would serve you well next time. Isn't it insane that almost every pillar of trust in our society, the media, medical professionals, scientists, Logan Paul, seem is to Logan have- Logan Paul doing this actually just escalated this. I think if Logan Paul didn't do this whole fucking stunt, nobody would care. Also, thank you so much, JB, for the shub. I really appreciate it. In one way or another, this is real Yeah, this guy's a scam. real journalist. It's almost more concerning than the scam itself. Now, there's still one People vital still question left him, unanswered unfortunately, here. If yes. these glasses really don't work as advertised, then why are there countless viral videos with emotional <laughs> reactions to them? I believe it's the result of a collective ignorance. I, for example, have known about my colorblindness for well over a decade, and despite visiting multiple professionals about it, not once was it explained to me why I perceive colors differently. Was it issue in my eyes? Was it in my brain? Was it the connection between the two? I had no idea at all, and I'm most certainly not the only one that's been left in the dark. Even trained professionals, as yes. you've just seen, don't know what they're talking about. It's a huge problem, and these companies have been able to leverage their false marketing claims off the back of this ignorance, leaving the 300 million- I wonder if it's because when you're a doctor, if you're like a medical professional, you don't learn about eyes the same way an eye doctor does. I think that's probably the ignorance. It's like going to a doctor about teeth, like a tooth, uh, a tooth problem, and they're like, yeah, I just go to a dentist. Because a dentist knows what the fuck they're talking about. Like a doctor will tell you, yeah, your your tooth is fucked up. Let's go. Like go 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 to the dentist. The man was an eye doctor, wasn't it? Was he actually? I don't know. Can someone double check that? Maybe I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention, or maybe like I misheard. I thought he was just a doctor. Maybe he was an eye doctor. That's still really fucked up. Yeah, general clinic was a specialized doctor. Yeah, exactly. Million people who suffer a color vision deficiency, ripe for the picking and open what to was being his name? exploited. Now, uh, fuck, Mr. Roll, Doctor Roland. I don't know his first name, but you could probably Google it. Roland. Boland. Oh, is Boland or Roland? It was Boland. Put yourself yeah, in the yeah, shoes Boland. of a colorblind person and imagine this. You arrive home one day to find your closest room. friends and family are all Michael outside. Bond. There are colorful balloons everywhere, and everyone's got their cameras out recording. And you oh find out gosh. they've all chipped in to buy you a pair of these miracle glasses you've seen online. Perhaps this alone is enough to make you cry. Let me read this. Michael R. Boland joined Northeastern Eye Institute in June 1998. And practiced in Clara. Specialized in primary care, pediatrics, and contact lenses. So he's not like an eye specialist. He's not. He's just like a general doctor. 
It's insane. As a colorblind person, receiving a pair of these glasses is one of the most thoughtful gifts a loved one Contact could give you. Contact lenses? Yeah, a family member a finally hands you the glasses and yeah, you realize the moment feel. you've been waiting for has finally come. You're about to see a whole new world of color for the very first time. Wow, you know they're going to work because wow. they're backed by science and medical professionals. But then you put on the glasses and see this. And if you're not crying by now, everyone is waiting with bated breath for your reaction. <laughs> but even though the world hasn't suddenly burst into a spectrum of colors you've never seen before, you feel an immense pressure to react, to show gratitude, to give your family and friends the emotional response they're hoping for. Perhaps in this heightened emotional state, you even start to believe you are seeing true color. Oh my Regardless, it's not just about the glasses anymore. It's about not wanting to disappoint the people you care it's about. It's the pressure. This creates yeah. a cycle. You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to them. Yeah, I don't think everyone is like a paid actor. There was a couple that did it and they were kind of like paid actors, but I think the pressure was definitely on certain people. For a legitimate pressure reaction money? to these glasses I would say can get overshadowed them. by Some, psychological influences all. and the pressure to perform. Further feeling the myth that these glasses those actually work as advertised. Context of glasses. The industry yeah, isn't just specialist. capitalizing on the hopes of those with color vision deficiencies, That's but fine. also on the emotional vulnerabilities of consumers who just want to bring joy to their loved ones. It's actually really sad. In my opinion, it's this whole trend of That's people claiming to see color for the first time really only took off after Enchroma's marketing collaboration with Valspar. And I believe the success of that viral campaign laid the foundation for Enchroma's marketing strategy. Yeah, Give free glasses to anyone with a sizable audience marketing. and let them do the marketing for us. Let mm -hmm. them make the uninformed and absurd claims about our product. Even now, seven years later, they're still offering free glasses to anyone with a large following. Yeah, yeah, th that's what that couple in the first video that this guy made, they actually disclosed at the end of their YouTube video that they were getting sponsored i am i'm doing the finger thing the air quotations they were sponsored by them and then they were just like yeah we just tried it out and like they tried to play it off like they didn't do it but they did it for the money and they have us like a affiliate link in the video it's crazy the requirement that their experiences are filmed and shared online. jacks up the guy now, did a video with these glasses to say that all influencers who have tried these products bag, are being disingenuous. however you can't ignore the fact that influencers inherently want to create engaging content you also can't rule out that influencers may feel compelled to speak positively about the product given the product was gifted to them again this is just my opinion but i think enchroma knows this and takes full advantage of it my own experience with enchroma revealed a similar pattern when i started this project i noticed they didn't ship to korea so i reached out to them for a review unit emphasizing my desire to make an unbiased review while highlighting the lack of shipping to korea they responded offering the glasses at no cost and shipped them out but when i asked them if they could bill me for the review unit they said they couldn't now perhaps there's a valid reason for this but then i found out they can and do ship to south korea i simply had to switch to their us store for that option so why not tell me this in the first place why not let me purchase the glasses myself so i can offer an unbiased review i believe it's because they know the power of this reciprocal bias <sighs> now oh circling gosh. back the media's role Free in perpetuating misinformation cannot be understated Time and time again, they've been complicit in promoting products and ideas without proper vetting, all in the name of sensationalism and ratings. It's a sad state of affairs when a YouTuber has to do the investigative work that trained journalists should be doing. But this isn't just about the media's failure. It's about the exploitation of vulnerable individuals who genuinely seek solutions to their problems. It's about like i said i really have to re-emphasize this some of these are actors and some of them are not and i think they were under pressure there was that kid with the mom who had the labeled balloons with the right color hidden away so that the child could figure out which one was the real color even though the glasses were probably not helping and by probably i mean absolutely not working at all because they don't fucking function Our companies that prioritize profits over ethics and it's about a society that Definitely often values morality right over truth. In this age of information overload, critical thinking is paramount, especially when it comes to what we consume and share online. So, we must hold companies accountable for their claims yeah. and demand that policymakers and regulators like the FDA and FTC take action against these blatant scams. The truth isn't always as sensational as a tear-jerking video, but it's always <laughs> more valuable. Isn't that right, John? I've never seen this before. Oh my now, god. Now, if you know someone who's I've colorblind, please do them before. a favor and share this two-part series with them. I'll be leaving links to all the scientific papers in the description, including the ones I've criticized. 
And if you want to learn more about colorblindness, I highly recommend the channel Chromophobe. He has some excellent videos that go into great detail about colorblindness and the limitations of these glasses. Finally, I'd like to give a heartfelt Based. thanks to the experts who offered their expertise on this video, Based. along with the team of researchers who supported their studies. Based. This video wouldn't have been possible without their hard work and dedication to the science. So for that, I'm truly grateful. Everyone give a shout out I to the like scientists the in the Spanish, comments. I like the Spanish research team. Wait, wait, wait. We believe in the positive impacts and chroma glasses have on individuals and the strength of the ever-evolving scientific research that is our foundation! <laughs> yeah, ever-evolving scientific research. Strength. Jesus, dude. Is this what I think it is? No. Does it work? Oh Maybe my god! The <laughs> <gasps> Beast! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It was a real smile, too. That made me laugh. Cute. Clap, guys. Very nice video. Remember to watch part one if you're confused. It's more, it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting. Part one was really good, too. Yeah, shit. Clap, guys, clap, guys, clap, guys. Very nice. Very good. Very excellent. Yeah, shit. Yeah, shit. Mommy. Piss, piss, piss. Shit. Piss, 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 fuck, 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 fuck,